In this clip I want to illustrate you uh, the technique that is called proof by induction. I will highlight the general idea. Well, actually, proof by induction is actually confined to proving some the validity of some statement over n, which means I have a statement for each number in n. Well, let's say I have p1, p2, p3 are statements, and I want to show the validity of all of them. Yeah, so these are statements over n. So for instance, uh, we have, well we did du deduced already the formula, the following formula, that the sum of the first n natural numbers, yeah, so pn, so let pn be the statement that the sum of the first n natural numbers equals a half times n times n plus 1. So now the necessary steps we need to take is proving, well, p1, well, let's say that it's a domino stone p1, the first one, the second one, the third one, and so on. So I, these are domino stones, and the first domino stone is P1. Second is P2, the third one is P3, etc. So this is the way we may continue. Well, what we need to show is, at least we need to show that P1 is true. Right? We want to show the validity of the whole sequence of statements, then we might show that P1 is true. Well, mostly this is one of the easiest cases. So now we continue. Suppose that given P1, that we might show that given P1, on the presumption that P1 is true, that uh, P2 is true. So suppose we can show that if P1 is true, this would imply that P2 is, is true. Then we call P1 the induction hypothesis. So the hypothesis is that P1 is true. So now show, well, assume that we, in this fashion, we can show that when uh, when P1 falls down, that P2 falls down. That's another way of saying that uh, when P1 is true, that is implies that P2 is th true. Well, suppose we can build up a chain of, of logic steps in the sense that from P2 is tr true, we deduce that P3 is true, from P3 we deduce P4, etc. So suppose that in general we are able to show that uh, when P, Pn is true, or Pn star is true, that we may show that Pn star, you know, for some value n star, some natural number, suppose that we deduce that Pn star plus 1 is true. So then the technique is basically that we show that, or okay, P1 is true, so P1 falls, it works infectious on P2, P2 falls, P3 falls, P4 falls. So if we wait long enough, then any number or any statement will fall, right? So we build up a kind of chain reaction and... Uh, we conclude that the third step, that 
from steps one and two we may deduce that actually p n is true for all natural numbers n. We will now illustrate this in a, in a coming clip.